So let's talk about iOS 17.4. Apple is set to be releasing this new software update within about a month as of the filming of this video. We're expecting Apple to release this update towards mid to early March. So about a month as of today, everyone should be able to download this new update. And I wanted to share with you guys my top five favorite new features coming to the iPhone with Apple's upcoming iOS 17.4. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Starting off with new emojis, iOS 17.4 will include Unicode. 15.1 and this will add over a hundred new emojis from accessibility to different types of emojis like mushroom broken chain we also have the head shake left and right or up and down and one of my favorites without a doubt is the new phoenix emoji will also be available and as i mentioned there's going to be over a hundred new emojis including different skin tones so yeah unicode 15.1 will be available with ios 17.4 now shareplay will also be expanding with ios 17. This new feature was first introduced with CarPlay for iOS and it allows users to control the music with another device as long as you allow them to by scanning this QR code here. But SharePlay has now been expanded to HomePod and the Apple TV with tvOS. As you can see right here, you can go ahead and enjoy this new feature now with more Apple devices. Now, Apple also added some changes to the podcast application. You now have the live transcript feature available. So if you go into the podcast app here and you're listening to a podcast and you want the live transcript, you see this button here on the bottom left, just like Apple Music Lyrics, you can tap into that and then you get a live transcript of the podcast that you're listening to so those two new options I think you guys are going to really enjoy that are coming to the iPhone with iOS 17.4 now Apple will also be expanding on stolen device protection security delay so if we go into settings here and we jump into face ID and passcodes after you update to iOS 17.4 you'll see a new sub menu here for stolen device protection now this gives you the option right here on the top to enable or disable the feature but when you go to disable the feature you get what's called security delay right there you see but now you have the option to choose whether this delay applies at home and work familiar location or not so you can choose always or obviously always from familiar locations so two new options available there for security delay and Apple has also added one of my favorite new widgets which is the city digital widget it is now available with iOS 17.4 under the clocks extension right there it is and you can choose whether you want the light or dark variant of this one which is the one that I'm rocking right here there it is and this one is also available for standby so let's go into standby here and let me show you what it looks like on standby so let's go ahead and plug this iPhone to a power source and we should have standby kick in here in just a few seconds and there it is the new feature is now available right there the new digital clock or city digital clock is also available for standby and those are going to be my top five favorite new features coming to the iPhone with iOS 17.4. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.